Welcome to VBAR 101. This is Fredrik Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm gonna go over how to set up an uh, electric version of the governor. First thing, in the 5.1, uh, the governor page here is uh, blanked out. Uh, it will be so until we have set up the system correctly. Also, you might get a gray box down here which tells you that, well, your setup is currently not converted to 5.1, so please press here and you get a button. So do that before you start. First thing we're going to go into is the channel arrangement. Um, uh, and please heed this warning with the, that you don't have a hot setup, meaning you have backed off the motor or running in a way that you cannot get the helicopter running. And then we go into the receiver page. Uh, For electrics, uh, compared to running what if you saw the Nitro episode, you only need one channel to control the uh, governor. It's because you never fly in stick mode like you do in, in, uh, in the uh, Nitro version. So you only need to control off and then you have spool, uh, soft spool up to a head speed and then to the next head speed and so on and so on. So what I need to do is I need to have uh, one channel that I say this is my control channel. In this case I'm going to use channel 7 uh, which I calibrated with endpoints so I have full throw. Then I uh, used my governor function on the radio to program so my hole is 0% and my uh, idle up three or whatever is 100% and then I can tweak in between there. So when that's done, I jump over to governor and then enable uh, electric mode. Then I press reset. Now, never ever do this with a motor connected in the helicopter uh, with pinion on and stuff like that because if you calibrate something wrong, things can start up. So what I have done here is that what I think is the easiest method and that's running a, a motor on the side. Uh, I will, you will understand why it's so easy to set up uh, in a second. But uh, motor on the side or bag, back it off from the main gear or remove the main gear. There is those that, well I swapped two cables and uh, then the motor running backwards and the one way is spinning freely. Well if that one way is uh, is locking up uh, then the blades are gonna hit you probably in the face and that's no good. With this setup I have a sensor cable, face sensor going to one remote cable into the sensor port of the V-bar and also I'm running an SBUS solution here so I have only one channel. My speed controller goes into the ESC collective ESC port on the V-bar. I could use the other port I'm gonna show you but never ever put power into the servo port that's the important part so here we have the preset which preset channel should we use and i set up my uh, channel 7 so that's at minus 100 percent uh, you should calibrate that so you have minus 100 percent and all the way up to plus 100 percent and everything between zero and minus 100 is motor off Everything between 0 and plus 100 is uh, a, a head speed. Then we can uh, select which output port we should use. And as I said, you can never put a uh, power into that server port. You can, however, use these two. If you're using a separate receiver with all the patch cable, well, then your collective is already uh, used by the patch cable. So then you have to use channel 4. But in this case, I'm using uh, collective. So and you get the graphical representation here of how the should be connected and that's exactly how I have it connected here. So now go over to screen number two. Now as if you watch my Nitro uh, video you know that you can enable throttle control by collective and that's transferring the control for setup purposes only so we get the control by this stick 
uh, the collective channel controls the throttle so we can set up endpoints and everything. And I'm going to do that and yet, yet again this can cause a hot start. When you press that button signals change, uh, it jumps around so this is the dangerous part. So never ever press that with uh, uh, it connected to the helicopter. Please also note that when, since we're transferring the control to collective, use a 0 to 100 pitch curve for this purpose. All this uh, is a, just to set the endpoints of the controller correctly, and I'm going to show you how. So I transfer control now to and heed the warning. Uh, so actually now I have full control of the motor speed controller via my collective stick, and we can see here. Motor starts and we have full control. So, what I want to do is calibrate the throttle. So, I just raise this. The motor starts. And at 90 92%, it stops. So, now my low end is calibrated. That's why it's so easy if you run a motor like this or, or backed off in your helicopter to find the endpoints. You can do the same by figuring out when it arms and stuff like that. Uh, but it's much easier. The same thing, what I do here is spool up the motor to full speed and then I move the, the here difference and then somewhere ah, it's the same thing. It's a 92%, 90-92%. So now my throttle endpoints is calibrated for this controller, this motor and everything. Um, and that's the basic that I need for, for the controllers. Now I can disable the collective control again and I'm done with all the calibration. What I need to do now is to set the head speed. My maximum head speed is the total max I can that 100% in the radio on my uh, control channel translates to this. So I'm going to set 2200 and then I can test uh, my settings. And if you look at now what happens, and I'm going to actually get a spool up now because what I do is, you see, and it's a slow spool up. So the system is active now, and that's why it's so dangerous to have. Uh, have it on an electric without uh, disabling the motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my motor here just uh, to don't get that sound in the background. And what what uh, I, what happens when I uh, turn on 100% on my radio, I'm going to get 2190 as RPM. Now you can see this bar slowly moving. That's actually the, the ramp up, the slow uh, spool up. That's the actual throttle out that you see. So a percentage in the radio translates to, to a head speed and which that translates to uh, depends on the maximum. So maximum 100% is always what this uh, reads and then you get a percentage of that one. So I have 97% of my governor on idle 2 here and that translates to uh, 2058. Then I need to set head speed. Uh, or a gear ratio and uh, it's 8.53 in my case so you just enter that then also I need to set the sensor configuration and it depends if you're using magnet sensor or I like I do here face sensor if you use a face sensor of the Hyperion kind that I'm using here it's the number of poles divided by two this is a 10 pole motor meaning I should enter four five sorry five in this box and press enter. If it's an 8 pole motor then it should be 4. Uh, next thing is auto rotation bailout mode and that's something that you might want to have and how you're gonna set that up. Uh, I will cover this in a second. Remember how I told you that control channel is half of the control channel is uh, motor off and half is a fixed head speed. That lower half that is motor off, if you use the first 10%, if you go down to zero or even 9%, it will translate to motor totally off. But if this is checked, auto rotation bailout mode, meaning from 
those 10% above those and until you hit the half mark, it's more off with auto rotation bailout active. You can then do like this, you have a mix in the radio. So if I hit throttle hold here, it's going to be motor off, fine, slow spool up. But if I have that mix enabled to a, a, a switch here, if I switch down that first, then throttle hold, then it's going to be in bailout mode. And then uh, when I do bailout, it's going to spool up much faster. So that's how you can do it in the in the actually the the radio to to make sure you get that bailout function. Basic uh, governor setup is actually done, and uh, if we're gonna show you just quickly, we're gonna hit throttle hold here and off, and then plug in the motor cables and simulate a star trav in uh, a low idle up or normal mode then I when I hit uh, turn off the throttle hold we see my requested RPM is 7071 and the motor is spooling up slow start and that, there you go and then we're gonna verify my uh, head speed in a second that I'm gonna do in my uh, main screen test this setup on the bench and see that I get the correct head speed. So now when I flip this throttle hold it will slow start up to 1770 around that. So let's see how that goes. And you can see the slow start coming on, ramp it up to the slow. And it settles just on 1771 which is my requested and the current is the same so now the governor is running if i flip this so that go up higher it goes up and it's a slow movement and then even higher actually i cannot go higher right now because uh, i have a test setup which is the maximum voltage is not high enough so, so so that, that way with this electric setup where I have either backed off the motor from the main gear, I can test everything on a bench and that I like.